Hey, welcome to another episode of DIY Car Mods. My name is Jeff, and today I'll be doing a product review, installation, and demo of this SL1 LED headlight bulbs from Diode Dynamic. Inside the package is going to be this installation guide. And it does talk about that you can rotate the collar right here. All right, so here is a close-up of the LED bulb. Each bulb is rated at 20.2 watts at max 1630 lumen. It is using Lux ZES LED chip. So there's three on this side, three on the opposite side. The color is 5700K. It does have a rotatable collar. In order to rotate this, you do have to remove that little one single screw right there and then take this out, rotate it, and then put it back in to make the adjustment. This bulb comes with a zinc die-cast heat sink and a fan in the back to keep the LEDs cool. There is an external LED driver and here is the plug that you will plug into your stock wire harness. This particular bulb is a H11, so right here is a H11 plug that will plug into your stock wire harness. This will be a direct replacement for my H11 halogen bulb. Now this is designed for both reflector and projector housing and I'm going to be testing this on my 2013 Honda Accord that comes with a stock halogen projector. So first go ahead and locate your low beam which is right there and then remove the stock halogen bulb. All you need to do is press the little black tab that's right here and then turn this counterclockwise. Alright next take the new LED insert into the headlight housing. You see those three black tabs? That's to correspond with the cutout on the headlight. So line those up, push down, and turn. Once it's installed correctly, it should be facing straight down. If it's not facing straight down, then you either need to take it out, realign the tabs, and put it in again. Or on some vehicles, when you do have it installed, it's going to be crooked. That's when you need to take it out and take out the collar and adjust the collar so that when it does get locked in all the way it will be facing straight down. Now in some vehicles it might be beneficial also if you go ahead and swap the original o-ring right here to the LED one. For this particular vehicle this H11 socket application you don't need to but some you might such as a 9005. Next I need to connect the LED to the headlight wire harness. Right here you see there's a positive and ground and so this side needs to go into that brown side and the ground needs to go into the black. So I'm gonna line that up. Okay so it should go in this way. I'm going to turn on the headlights to verify that it works and there you guys can see it works. Alright so here's a quick color difference between the stock halogen bulb versus the new LED. As you can see, the new LED is much more white compared to the stock halogen bulbs. Okay, so I've gone ahead and installed the LED on the driver's side as well. So here is the stock halogen bulb. Just be careful not to touch the glass. It's gonna be super hot and it will burn your fingers. And to reach the bulb, all I did was put my hand through right here and you have access to the bulb that's right here and turn it counterclockwise, remove it, install the new LED and hook up the power. Now, since this LED does have a fan to keep the LEDs cool, it will produce some fan noise. However, I don't think it's loud enough that you're gonna be able to hear it inside the vehicle. So when I do a test drive later on, I will verify that. All right, so here is the SL1 LED headlight bulbs from Diode Dynamics installed on my 2013 Honda Accord. As you can see, the color matches pretty well with the rest of my LED lights on my headlight. All right, so here's a nighttime demo of the SL1 LED headlight bulbs. 
this right here is the cutoff and the light output. I'm currently parked 40 feet away from that container. And here is a close-up of the cutoff. It's not very even all the way up here. As you can see, there are two little slopes on each side over there and also over here as well. There is an intensity in the middle right here. And the LEDs are in the optimal position inside the headlight right now. So even if I were to adjust it, it might level that down a little bit, but I think that's still going to be there no matter what. Now the light output, it is definitely brighter compared to stock. I put a link to the video that Lightworks did by using a light meter. They tested the light output between this SL1 compared to stock and this is definitely two times brighter compared to stock. And this right here is a stock halogen bulb. As you can see, the color is off-white, almost yellow. There is a hotspot right in the middle. It does cover the container all the way across. And the cutoff is soft, but it's straight all the way across. And it does have a little slope right here. It's because not because of the bulb, but because of the headlight housing itself. It is a projector headlight housing, and so it's going to have that step. And this right here will be the light output from an HID kit. As you can see, there is a focus beam right in the middle. The color is pure white. The cutoff is straight all the way across. There is that little step right in the middle right there. Out of the three, this will be the brightest right here. So this will be brighter than the SL1 and this will be brighter than the stock halogen bulbs. All right, so here is a nighttime driving demo with the new SL1 LED headlight bulbs from Diode Dynamics. I'm driving in a back road where it doesn't have a lot of street lights. As you can see, the color output of this LED light is white. It is not the off-white color as the stock halogen bulbs. It does a decent job of projecting the light out into the road. It is an improvement over stock, but however, if you want the best light output possible, then I would suggest for you to do a retrofit project where you open up the headlights and install HID projectors. Now if you're looking to upgrade your stock halogen bulb to an LED, then definitely give this a try. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but it is made in USA and the build quality is very good. And it's also been tested and proven to be brighter compared to other LED bulbs in the market. All right, so that completes the product review, installation, and demo of this new LED headlight bulb from Diode Dynamic. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook, and Instagram, where I do free monthly giveaways for my YouTube subscribers every month. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos.